are you guys doing tonight? Woo! Oh, wow, Courtney. I was, I, you got me nervous now. I don't know how to go along to that. But um, I get to the point, guys. Um, I, I decided, you know, what, what can I share with you guys tonight? You know, I could probably come up with some, you know, some fancy words that maybe you guys would like, like to hear that would make you guys, you know, just like, oh, man, that guy down there, he's so godly, man. I want to be like him. But, you know, I kind of wanted to share a little bit of the truth about me, you know, and some of you guys might know me, some of you guys might not, but, you know, I'm, I'm a failure. I mean, I've failed, like, countless times, times and again, but, you know, I, I wanted to share with you guys what the, the impact of what God's love has had on me, you know, I mean, I mean, I can't really go into much detail with you guys tonight, because, I mean, my sins are just a long list of just never-ending stuff, but, I mean, God's love is infinite, and He's forgiven me countless times and times and again, but, um, I mean, going back to my past, before I ever knew about God, before, um, I discovered this love that, you know, could just save me and pull me out from that dark place that I was in for so long, I mean, I was such an angry person, a person that just was like, man, my living situation sucks, or gosh, hey, look, why... Why, why is this not happening? Like, why does this have to happen to me? Like, why am I here? And, you know, for a long time, I mean, I don't know, but I think it's pretty obvious that guys, especially, are pretty good at hiding their feelings. And um, for me, that was really true for back in the day. And I can remember just sitting in my bed, looking at the ceiling one night, and just I just started cursing God. I just started yelling at Him. I'm just like, God, if you're so powerful and you're so mighty and holy, then what if, why have you done this to me? Why have you put me here? And I can confidently say now that that was the point in my life when I challenged him, and thank God that our God is forgiving, that he pulled me out from that pool of just hate and anger and sadness and just all that stuff that just doesn't matter. And he brought me, he, he made me the person that I am today. He's given me a list of goals that I hope to accomplish, but I never will. But, um, I mean, I moved from, from when I moved, was living in that current situation back in San Luis, and after that whole night of just cursing and just talking to God, like, he brought me here. And that's where I really discovered his love, when I looked at all the people surrounding me, and I saw his love in them and the love that they showed to me. And I was curious, I was like, you know, why are these people like so friendly? Or what, what, what do these people have that I don't? Like this God that they all claim to love. What, who is he, what is he? What? And you know, I, it encouraged me to explore. It encouraged me, you know, to go to youth group. I was pushed by friends, I was pushed by family. You know, go to church, go to this church, and, you know, it finally hit me. You know, when I, I mean, I don't, you got, have you guys heard of a little place called Team Lake? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, it, everything leading up to that point made me open my eyes to who God really is. I, just everything, like, started adding up, like, I was going to say, okay, so this guy, he died on the cross for us, he rose again, he did this into that, into that, and then it finally took somebody who knew a lot about the world to really open my eyes. And now, I mean, I'm striving to be the best I can be for God, because why should I strive to be anything else after he's pulled me out to be a servant of him? And I'm going to close with this, guys, um, just to tell you like how much God's love really means to me, and it's uh, Romans chapter 8. Uh, verses 38 through 39. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from his love. Death can't and life can't. The angels can't and the demons can't. Our fears for today, our worries about tomorrow, and even the powers of hell cannot keep God's love away. Whether we are high above the sky or in the deepest ocean, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you guys so much. Amen. Kevin, hold on before you go. Come back up here. Oh.
I actually have something for you. Um, I'm going to give you a gift. I was planning to give it to you, and I thought this would be probably the best time to do it. And just to say thank you, um, I'm going to give you one of our FCA competitors' Bibles, okay? And the reason you're getting this is he's been a leader with FCA for literally probably almost three years. Three? Three and a half years? I have been, I have been in that club for three years. For three years, he's been serving every day on his campus, like many of you guys have, of just pouring out and teaching the word to his peers when no one came or when a lot of people came, and he's just been serving and serving and serving. And so one of the things we try to do with our student leaders that have served over a number of years is we give them this nice uh, leather-bound competitor's Bible. It's got a devotional in the back by athletes from across the country for athletes. So thank you for your service. And I know you got a cool Bible that you read all the time. You can give that to someone else if you want or read it. God bless you, bud. Thank you. Okay, uh, my next, you're next.